Welcome to Maria Loves to Talk. And yes, you guys, you gals, granddams, I am doing fragrances. And yes, this will be a good video. I've mixed it up a little bit. Uh, please get you some little snacks, something, I don't know, healthy, maybe unhealthy, some chocolate, glazed potato chips. I don't know. But it will be a good video. Uh, sit back and let's get started. Oh, hey, don't forget, click like and subscribe, you guys. Okay, so like moving on, I have a mixture of fragrances. So I've been doing a lot of ordering online, Amazon, Pair of Fragrance. I think Fragrance Net, some of these. Uh, let me see, no, I don't have anything from Bath and Body Works today. Okay, so I'm gonna start from here. Okay, and this is the Oldie But Goodies. I don't know, it was somewhere on a perfume blog and people were talking about some of the 90 fragrances. So this is Emerald, or Emerald. I don't remember because this was with the Church of Mars and uh, Charlie and Red and all that at uh, CVS. Okay, so this is Amber, Citrus, Woody, Balsamic. Uh, someone said it reminds them of Shal Shalimar or a cheaper version of Shalimar and it does last a long time. Okay, and my sister said, <laughs> don't you love our, don't we love our sister, especially our younger sisters? She said it reminds her of tea tree all in your lictopus. Okie dokie, let me see. I like this and I never thought about it but yeah it it does kind of smell a little bit like Shalimar I don't find it to be that pepper uh not peppery powdery but it does have a little balsamic amber notes I like this and this is Amarud by Cody and they do have a lot of good fragrances you might want to look it up and see all the different fragrances they make and also Revlon and I believe this came from Amazon, if not Amazon, um, Walmart. Lady Stetson, I remember that. Another oldie but goodie. And then you know you have the man Stetson. Okay, so Eldehydes, uh, woody, floral, powdery, warm, spicy. Okay, my sister said. And it's and again, these are all those 90s fragrances, like the 273. Um, they are not weak at heart. So let me smell this one. Let's see, because I like this. I like it. And yes, this is also another 90s or oldies, but goodies. Those are a little maybe considered strong, balsamic, but it's good. And it's perfect right now with the winter coming. Okay, moving on, my next one. I don't know why I picked this one up and it's called Fantasy Me, Fantasy Me, F-A-N-T-A-S Me. So, fan, instead of fantasy, Fantasy Me. I don't know why I picked, up, picked it up, but it looks like a little spaceship. A little alien spaceship. <laughs> Okay, my sister said it smells citrusy to her. I don't know. Let me see. And this one, I believe I picked it up from Fragrance Net. I'm not picking up on citrus, but I like it. It's also giving me that 90s vibe of the Cody, of the Emerald, and the Stetson. Also very nice fragrance, feminine fragrance. Moving on, my next one, uh, I picked this up from Amazon. This is the Antonio Banderas, and I should have done it with the other one I did when I did the Spirit. This is called Blue Seduction. Again, Antonio Banderas, handsome leading man, actor, was married to Melanie Griffith. His fragrance, uh, this, uh, the notes, uh, fruity, fresh, sweet, aquatic. I think that's why I got it white floral melon pear uh someone were said it remind them of jingham bath and body from bath and body work so let's see and i know 
I got it because I was trying to do a beach beach theme. Yes, it is aquatic, nice, romantic, sweet. I like this one, blue seduction. Okay, moving on. Let me put blue seduction right here. So moving on to my next one will be 2020 Courageous. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Courageous. Okay. 2020. And it came in a bottle that looked like this. And he's supposed to have a lot of fragrances under this brand. Uh, this one is Fruity, Woody, Sweet Pottery, Peach, Rose, and Pear. Let me see what I smell here. Light peach. Also smells like a strawberry. It is fruity, but it's not overly sweet. It's not uh, liquidy. It's not jammy. Just right. A nice light fragrance. Summer also you can work. Uh, will not you know, upset anyone, get anyone choking. My next one I picked up, I think I picked this one also up from Fragrance Net. Fred Heyman, Beverly Hills. Remember Fred Heyman and his wife, Gail? This is called Touch. Uh, this is, let's see, white floral, pottery, sweet, fruity, peach plum. I don't know why they had got a divorce, but they used to make some great fragrances together. Okay, again, let's see. What is this on there? Okay. Beautiful bottle. I like this one. This is nice. This is um, could be date night, special events. Uh, you can get away with it at work. I would be light. I wouldn't, I wouldn't spray too much because it, it's almost a little slightly heavy, but a good heavy. Moving on to my next one. Um, Samba, Samba Sun. This also came from Fragrance Net. I don't know why I had got it. Maybe because it was real cheap. I forgot what it's supposed to remind me of looks like this perfect summertime beach citrus floral woody and musky cheap model i like it. it's not heavy it's light perfect for the summertime this is something you can wear to work in the office if you're a teacher working around kids you're working in the uh, cafeteria perfect okay moving on Halston Halston was a very iconic uh, designer great designer back in the 70s uh, 60s I think someone I think my sister someone said they they made a movie I don't know if they made a movie about him but uh, he he, um, I don't know, gave his rights or maybe sold the company over. So his name, uh, family members wasn't able to inherit or get royalties from this line, which is, you know, kind of sad. Uh, this is woody, aromatic, earthy, and green. So let's see. And this was a good fragrance back in the day, too. Yes, I believe my mom used to wear this in a beautiful bottle, Halston. This is good. This is, uh, I would say this would be great for work. Also business meeting, uh, events, church events. This is a very good fragrance as well. Moving on, like I was said, I was trying to do a theme, which was gonna be beach. This is by one is Lifeguard and the other one is Gardenia Lily. Pick this up from Amazon. I believe it was like $20 a piece. 
I was like, wow. And it is vegan and cruelty free. So let me try Lifeguard first. Lifeguard. <sighs> yes. Golly. It's good. Okay. <laughs> My sister said it's she's all she smelled was cinnamon tropic. And nope, it shouldn't have been cinnamon tropic, but that's the, the joy of different people have a different what, a smell. They smell something totally different from you. I like it. I don't I'm not picking up cinnamon. Uh to me it doesn't have a strong enough beachy smell. So maybe that's what she was picking up on. My next one is Carl Gardenia lily and again these are vegan and cruelty free okay let's see okay she said and it says gardenia she's saying she's smelling jasmine okay okay i like this one i like it i like both of them remember what you're missing again i believe this was like 20 22 dollars and i'm thinking expensive because when I buy the Bath and Body, they're like $14 or maybe $7.50. And it's about the same, but you know, this is vegan and cruelty free. Moving on to my next one. Also, when you buy from Fragrance Net, they give you this little exception uh, perfume, a little uh, sample here. Uh, I have some more here, Reveal by Calvin Klein. And the reason I picked it up because it was recommended as a good beach scent. Woody, powdery, musky, amber, and salty. And it has a really good beach scent. More genuine, more realistic than others. Yes. Okay, let's see. Let's see what sister said. She said luxurious. Okay. That is revealed by Calvin Klein. Another iconic designer fashion designer as well as perfume and everything he makes is great okay moving on my next one is aromatics elixir and i picked this up fragrance net yeah well it says fragrance.com but fragrance.com fragrance net okay somebody smelled it they didn't like i don't know if it was my sister or my older niece she said all she's smelling is mentholatum and you can also get the Aromatics Elixir. I believe I've seen it on Zulily. Discounted pretty, pretty cheap. Uh, this is aromatic, woody, earthy, warm, spicy, herbal, clary sage, and coriander. And then I did see where someone commented all they were smelling was cilantro. So let me see. Let's see. like it but it's it's not my speed i guess but it is um different from what i'm i'm used to getting i know i'm not a woody person i think that's what it is i'm not woody i'm not really earthy and i'm not for all that herb but if you like stuff like that you like that in your fragrance the aromatics elixir would be great for you. And it has some, it has some very good reviews. I, I saw some very good reviews from a lot of people. And it's probably most likely, you know, people who like that earthy, woody type of fragrance. You know, us, you know, the women who like the fruity sweet, like myself. You know, we tend to kind of shy away from that, but it's still good. Okay, moving on. My last three, I picked this up from Amazon. Antonio Banderas. We don't really have that many male celebrities, uh, fragrance or designers. Again, I did say earlier, uh, I picked up these from Amazon. Remember I said when you get those little perfume samples, from Lucky Scent or wherever, these are good to put them in these little um, uh, travel size. What I'm going to do is going to I will take them and mix them up with some of my Demeter and my Wild Ivy and some of the other little scents I did earlier from the Tom Ford and just mix it up and let them marinate. 
So that's a good way to uh, reuse these and let them stretch. So let me get on with my Antonio Banderas. This is called Seduction. I've never seen anything like this. It's called Seduction Doses. It came in a three pack. I don't even think this was $20. It must have been on sale. Okay, so this one here is called Her Golden Secret. Okay, Her Golden Secret. Let's see. Sound like a good movie. It's light. It's not heavy duty, but you can get away wearing this to work. Um, is this a good name for it? Her Golden Secret? Nah, I think I would have called it something else. Okay, moving on to my next one. Queen Seduction. That sounds like a good movie, good romance movie. Let's see what this. Hmm. Now I like this one. It's not heavy enough, but it's just right. You can get away with this at work, after work, going out with the girls. Queen Seduction. Hmm. I wonder what is the men fragrances smell like. The last one in this uh, list in this group is called Her Secret Desire. That sounds good. That sounds like a Harlequin uh, romance novel. He probably needs to make a movie called that. Her uh, her secret desire. Okay, Antonio, let's see. I think this one is the best one out of all three of these. Did I mark it? Yeah, I put a yes by that one. I put a no by her golden secret. And I did mark this on a yes for queen. Um, for me personally, I'm just keep it real because as y'all see, I don't have a Mercury page. I don't have a Poshmark page. When I'm through with these fragrances, I'm boxing them up, giving it to a friend who um, has a, I don't know if it's her mother or grandmother has a, a girl's home and a, another box I have to give to the um, uh, women's shelter. A lot of women getting ready to go back to work. But I'm not impressed with these. Remember I told you guys that someone had said one of their good friends work at Nordstrom and he was saying that what he was picking up or what his customers was telling him that they, they, they weren't impressed with a lot of these celebrity fragrances and the reason that they don't really do a, a good job because people feel that the fragrances just, you know, they don't last long for the, you know, the price sometime that you you paying uh but remember i just said i like the one that he may call spirit and also like this blue seduction here so again please leave me some comments tell me what you like what you didn't like what have you tried where you get your fragrances real cheap do you have a mercury store are you selling on mercury because <laughs> i've tried to get two or three fragrances the other day and i just decided hey i'm just gonna go ahead to amazon and i went to the site and bought it because some of those prices on McCurry, they're kind of high. Yeah, I did say it. <laughs> okay. So again, thank you, you guys. Stay blessed, stay healthy, stay prosperous. Thank you so much again for joining me at Maria Loves to Talk. Thank you.